Hey, good evening. Um, I'm in the Bangrak district of Bangkok right now. Today is the 17th of July. It's day 64 of hashtag the drive beyond borders. Yeah, and oh, I just had an epic bike tour, man. Seriously, anyone who comes to Bangkok, you need to do a bike tour. Okay, I did it with like uh, Bangkok bike tours and I really enjoyed it you can google them up and the owner is Ray he's Dutch um, he's been here for like 18 years so he started this and my guy uh, was uh, her name is oil so she made a joke it's like I said oil and she said yeah very expensive nowadays <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so part of cycling around, I we passed this place called Warehouse 30. And I really like this place. So a little bit of history. So this land was owned a long time ago by a millionaire that started a lot, lot of stuff in Bangkok. In fact, he was, uh, I think his name is Noilet, Small Lert, right? And he was like, he contributed so much to Bangkok that the king actually recognized him. And, and uh, yeah, and um, then he sold this land uh, and the warehouses to another person. And no, but, but before that, so, so he owned this, but when World War II came, the Japanese took over and used these warehouses to store stuff right fortunately they did not store like ammunition or any, anything like that so it wasn't bombed and and uh, it retained its structure and subsequently it was sold to another uh, millionaire who wanted to initially tear all this down and rebuild it and 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 uh, put it up to rent right but then the, the the business or sort of the center of the, the the of industry has already moved to the other side because this is next to the river and um, and so it's like dude even if I tear it all down rebuild it and rent it out I can't recoup it I can't recoup my cost because I can't in I can't increase the rental right and at the same time I think uh, this was in the 1970s uh, there was a there was a uh, zeitgeist of sorts where this area of Bangra became more and more creative uh, uh, and more art uh, and recognition of art and creativity was here and what happened was then this architect this uh, uh, Thai architect who already rebuilt, rebuilt sorry ah uh, James no who already uh, sort of changed an area across the river called Jam Factory which I passed and looks really good too into a contemporary art space while retaining the initial structures it's, it's basically conservation but conservation with gentrification right and for the creative space and arts right creative and the arts and what what happened was he did the same thing with this place so right now this place is called warehouse 30 and it's a creative and art space unfortunately not all the shops are open right now because of COVID but I think when things pick up again in Thailand this place is going to be really awesome and when I passed by earlier I said I had to come back for for a few reasons one is that's an exhibition right now okay by Simon Berger and Simon Berger is a Swiss artist who creates art by hammering glass right so 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 he makes cracks in glass and and he he has this thing about portraits right and he creates portraits out of art glass and he started he started doing pieces on windscreens so this is his exhibition is a one month exhibition in Thailand in Bangkok and it's held here in warehouse 30 
I passed by and I think you've seen some of his art right and I was reading a bit about it so and the idea was this he says that he uses hammer to 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 to, to break the glass some would see this that as vandalism hello somebody cap vandalism as in your breaking glass and all that right the broken glass theory you know uh, yeah New York City read that up broken glass theory uh, broken window theory right right so yeah but he says even in chaos and vandalism there can be expression and light coming through I like that so we're gonna walk around this area as you can see Bang, Bang Rak, I when I was driving here I saw quite a number of galleries there's another one the art is just beautiful man so this is the Aurum gallery and this is Simon Berger it's called Shattered I hope that oh damn it it's 6 30 it's open until 7 so I better go in and I hope uh, they won't stop me from filming I left I have less than Oh, damn it, is it closed? So this is his art. Wow. So you see, he, he broke this window and turned it into a portrait. Let's see whether the girl actually allows me to film. Saudi cop. Uh, is it okay for me to shoot? Cop and cop. Seven o'clock close? Okay, thank you very much. Oh yes, I saw this on Facebook, man. Check this out. He broke, he shattered layers of glass and, and made it into a 3D rendition of a skull. How crazy is this? How crazy is this, man? It's closed tomorrow, so I can't even come back tomorrow if I want to. So within 20 minutes, I'll, I'll go through as much as I can. That, that what I was talking about, Simon Berger. So yeah, that's a bit about him. See, his work provokes the theory of broken window. Disorder not only not only lead to crime, disorder can also be the kingdom of light. Woohoo! Light emerges from the camera blows, man. So let's have a look. So that was the skull. This is the ball. Wait, I want to check the price. So the price for this piece is 35,000 US. Okay, I think it's worth it. If you have like 35 million, it's nothing. 35 million sitting around doing nothing. If you're Elon Musk, dude, buy this. Don't buy Twitter, man. Oh, that's gorgeous. If you see up close, that's how he shatters the glass. But when you zoom out, oh, his portraits are absolutely gorgeous. This woman, I don't know whether she exists, but if she does, she's his muse. She's beautiful, and what he's done.
Okay, you look at this, the girl in the middle. When I first saw it, I thought, what happened to her eyes? I'll, 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 I'll go closer and you have a look, right? Now, when you look at it like this, it's like it's a skull. Where are, where are her eyes, right? It looks a bit scary. But when you actually see it from further away, Her eyes are just closed. She's, she may be sleeping, but yeah, it's perspective, man. You see one thing. If you if you see on the like just a small part of it, it may not make sense. It it might scare us, but. But maybe the analogy is we just have to have a bigger view of things and once we actually see a bigger view, we see the beauty that we missed. I don't know whether I'm talking sense but... This is meant to be scary. I think it's the same girl, maybe, but she's, the girl is gorgeous. And Simon has done such a I mean, I don't even know. You don't think about this because as you move, the face shimmers because of the light. I'll show you an example. It doesn't show as well in videos. Seriously, this deserves to be in the best galleries in the world. So to get the pupil, that she broke it this way. How did he do it? I don't know what tool he used to chip the glass this way. So that becomes eyes reflection of her eyes Alright, I'm 
I'm gonna walk back and get ready for this. at the main piece, the pièce de résistance, 25,000 US. Elon, Elon, buy this. Elon, buy this. Don't buy Twitter. Here, the amount of care you have to take and to put it up here for a month. All right, guys, I'm just gonna walk around some else more. But this is Simon Berger, Burger or Berger. And it's his exhibition at the Orem Gallery. It's called Shattered. It's the first solo exhibition in Asia. And it's only for this month. So if you're in Bangkok, get over here to Warehouse 30 and to Orem Art Gallery. Okay? See you guys later. Alright, that was mind blowing. Simon Burgess exhibition. Uh, just going to take a walk around other places. It's late now, so it's closed. And this gallery, you see, it's switching off the lights. You can imagine, you can imagine um, how it looks like, how it would look like when all these stalls are open. Vintage shops, galleries, Curiosities. If I can find time, if I if there's time still, if I have more time in Bangkok, uh, I would definitely come back here. Oh, look at this cafe, man. Look at this cafe. If you like art, if you enjoy creativity, this is a very good place in Bangkok. <laughs>